What's up guys? So the point of this video today is I'm in a lot of pit bull groups and a lot of American bullet groups and I see a lot of owners post their dog and they start getting bashed because they think their dog is underfed or unhealthy. So the point of this video is to show you what a healthy dog looks like and what an unhealthy dog looks like. But speaking of Facebook groups, I am starting my own Facebook group. So if you want to interact with me and show me your bully, I get a lot of questions or a lot of messages saying they want to show me their dog. You could do that here. So there will be a link in the description where you could go join my Facebook group right now. But um, yeah, let's get right into this video. I'm going to show you what a lean shredded dog looks like and what an unhealthy sick dog looks like. There's a big difference. I think a lot of people need to know this because they're just bashing owners for no reason. So let's get into it. So credit to the Bull Co. I learned this from him, but how to know if your dog is underfed is if you're able to see the ribs right here. Okay. I know a lot of shredded dogs, you can see their ribs, but they also have muscle that layers over that. So you don't, it's just a whole different look. And I can show you a few pictures in a minute, but that's how you know your dog is underfed. If you could just see pure ribs, like sitting down like this, say for instance. All right. Now how to know if your dog is obese is if you rub your fingers across their ribs, and you don't fill them, that's how you know that they're obese. You know, that's like a thick layer of fat and skin put together. Dogs, I know American bullies are bigger, but dogs don't really build muscle right here. I know they're thick, and a lot of, you know, bigger dogs, the XL bullies, you know, the, you can still fill the ribs if you rub your fingers across, okay? I don't care how big they are, that's how you know your dog is obese, if you can't fill the ribs. So this is a good example. I rub my fingers across and I can feel his ribs, but you can't see his ribs. A lot of American bullies build their muscle in these front legs and these back legs. So uh, if you have just a thick layer of fat, you know, your dog starts to look like a freaking, just a whale. And that's how you know that they're overfed. Now here are some obvious examples of what an underfed dog looks like. You can see all their bones, their ribs sticking out on their, you know, stomach, back hips. You can see all their bones, their spine, it really sticks out. Their head is not filled out. So this is what an unhealthy dog looks like. These are actually dogs that are found on the street, so we can see why they're unhealthy. But some of them, even like this guy right now on your screen, this guy could be filled out a little bit more and he could definitely be fed some more. Now here are examples of dogs that are real lean and shredded. They have very low fat tissue or fat percentage on their body. A lot of people mistake these dogs for being underfed, but these are, you know, what you see is a really fit dog. Imagine a guy or a gal that has like a six pack. This is what this is for dogs. So this is a real lean look. People need to not mistake this for being underfed. So what you've seen in those pictures were a lot of pit bull type dogs and, uh, you can tell the difference in what's healthy and what's unhealthy, but American bullies are a little bit built different. Now, if you have a really skinny American bully, I do think they're underfed. A lot of them, or most of them, are built pretty big. They're muscular, and uh, they just don't get too skinny. But let's not excuse the fact that there is obese American bullies. I think owners need to know that too. So here, I'm going to show you what a few obese dogs look like. It's important to know you know, what's built, what's stocky, and what's unhealthy. So here, take a look at this. So these are examples of obese dogs. You can see that the body is a lot bigger than the head, and that is not normal. Usually the head is around a good fit for the body size, or the head is even bigger. So this is a good, you know, example of obese dogs. Like I said, the rule of thumb, if you can't feel the ribs, then it usually means that your dog is overfed. Now I do have a feeding chart. This is a basic feeding chart for people that, you know, feed their dog kibbles. If you have raw diet, it's a little bit different. I believe uh, you should feed your dog around 5% of its body weight. If they're adult maybe 2.5 percent if they're a puppy but this will give you a good insight of what you should be feeding your dog and to never overdo it or underdo it of course your dog's weight fluctuates as you know they play they play outside and whatnot or what have you but it's a good starting point if you're wondering how much you should feed your dog so now you guys got some insight on what a healthy dog looks like and what an unhealthy dog looks like it's important not to exclude obesity because you know, obese dogs could cause a lot of pain in their joints later on in their life. Leave a comment below. What kind of dog do you got and how much does it weigh? I'm curious on what you guys got out there. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're all about American bullies and pit bulls, how to kill the bad stereotypes and become better owners. Other than that, I'll see you guys later.